Hello friends. So COVID-19 has exposed us to terms like endemic, epidemic, outbreak and pandemic. And we generally tend to use these terms without actually understanding what these terms mean. So in this short video, I'm going to explain you what is exactly an endemic, epidemic, outbreak and a pandemic. So endemic is a disease that is prevalent within a closed or a geographical location and the rate of spread of disease is known to the statisticians and the epidemiologist. So the disease has a fixed rate of spread that these many people will get infected every year and it is confined within a geographical location. However, when this rate of spread is higher than what is estimated by the epidemiologists and the statisticians, it is referred to as an epidemic. The geographical location is still the same. However, the disease is spreading at a faster rate than what was expected as normal for an endemic. And that is when we label the disease as an epidemic. Now, if the disease travels from one geographical location to another geographical location, meaning from one country to another country with the rate of spread is not important, but just the travel from one country to another country is called as an outbreak. It is not important for an outbreak to have a high spread or a low spread. It is just movement of a disease from one country to another country. Then comes the pandemic, which is when the rate of spread is higher than expected in multiple countries together. When the disease travels in multiple countries together as an epidemic, that is when we label the disease as a pandemic. And this is true for COVID-19. With COVID-19, the rate of spread is and was higher than expected for an endemic means like an epidemic for multiple countries together because the virus traveled from one country to another to another and that is why it is labeled as a pandemic. Now we need to understand this definition of endemic, epidemic, pandemic or outbreak only refers to the geographical location and the rate of spread of the disease. It does not talk about the severity of a disease. A pandemic may be less severe or more severe. It has nothing to do with the definition of a pandemic. Pandemic just means that multiple countries are involved with the same disease and the rate of spread of the disease is very high. So this is what is a pandemic. Now with reference to COVID-19, I will try and explain you these terms. So when the COVID-19 was first detected in Wuhan in China, it was referred by some epidemiologists as a endemic for that area, meaning the rate of spread was known to them that so many people will get infected. The severity is not important over here because we are not talking about severity. It was supposed to be an endemic, but suddenly it took the form of an epidemic because the rate of spread, what the Chinese government had expected was not found so and the rate of spread was very high and hence soon it was an epidemic within Wuhan in China. But then happened an outbreak when people from Wuhan traveled to other nations and the virus spread to other nations leading to an outbreak and that outbreak soon turned into a pandemic wherein the rate of spread of the disease became higher in different countries together and labeling COVID-19 as a global pandemic. Now with Omicron being over here right now in the third or the fourth wave is still a pandemic because the rate of spread is higher in multiple nations, multiple countries together. What is important to note over here is that we are right now talking about that this disease may become an endemic. What would this mean? This would mean 
that Omicron or coronavirus would become an endemic, meaning that the statisticians and the epidemiologists may be able to define that every year this coronavirus will come, these many people or these many percentage of people will get infected and it will go away. So this is what is an endemic. But the problem with a viral endemic like coronavirus is that it is spreading through the air, it is spreading through the contact with people because it is spreading through the droplets and the airborne in virus. So that is the problem that if there is another mutation to this virus, which is even more harmful or which is causing more severe disease. So this endemic, when it becomes a pandemic again, will cause a global crisis once again. So yes, we need to be cautious about this. But again, this is all theory. What will happen in future is not known to any of us. We just need to be careful and maintain the social distancing, hygiene and wear masks. So friends, I hope you are able to now correlate and will be using these terms like endemic, epidemic and pandemic with responsibility and know the definition and understand the definition of these terms. So if you liked my video, please do like, share and subscribe and don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you.